Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. I am the Soul Leader. So today's video and topic is about being triggered in trauma. I wanted to share with you something that I really didn't want to tell you. I always reiterate how I have to be vulnerable and how the Lord keeps telling me to share things with you to help you with your healing process because it also helps me. Um, this is a really personal moment. And today I was triggered and it took me back to the first time that I was with child. And during my first pregnancy, I was really alone. I had no guidance. I had nobody. I spent a lot of time in the hospital a lot. During that time, I was already on my path and I was in cosmetology school. And I had to take a break from cosmetology school and a break from work. And that was triggering too because before I ever got pregnant, about a year or two before then, I had to make a decision whether to leave the salon or focus on having a roof over my head. And I chose to have a roof over my head, even though having, you know, uh, being in a salon has always been a dream of mine. But this triggering today is dealing with being alone, being triggered by uh, abandonment and stuff. Um, I'm not saying I'm completely abandoned, but I, I really understand why certain people are no longer in my life and why, um, I'm having these feelings of feeling alone. Although I know I'm not alone because the Lord is with me. Now, during that pregnancy, um, being in a hospital, nobody really came to see me. Now there were, you know, my mom came through, um, but during that time there was, there was someone else, um, I hate to say it, uh. That left me hanging a lot, treating me very poorly. And that was my first experience, something that I was supposed to enjoy. And, you know, I didn't enjoy it at all. I cried a lot. I was hurt a lot. And I was in a lot of pain. And I'm sharing that with you because I know that there's someone out there that's with child or maybe already have children. And a lot of times we get with people that we're unequally yoked with and we'll sit and endure a lot of trauma and pain when we don't have to. You're not supposed to be here suffering in that type of way, not by the hands of someone else. That's not the type of suffering you're supposed to be enduring. And we have these children and we do it alone. We take care of them alone. We spend every dime we got. It's like some of us mothers and some dads as well because we have neglectful parent um, mothers too. Um who have to do it all alone. And sometimes it comes a time when you you might be a little too prideful to ask, but that one time you ask, it's like no one's there. No one's knocking at your door. No one's reaching out a hand. But during those times, you should turn to the Lord because even though sometimes you may not get an answer right then and there, the Lord knows what you need. And the Lord will supply your needs. So today, um, the Lord and I was talking and I told God how I'm afraid of being vulnerable. And this is something I'm never afraid of. I'm always like an open book because um, anything that is not something for others is, I do keep to myself. But I cried about this this morning. I broke down. I've been up since 5 a.m. Because the Lord kept telling me I got to talk about this one part. He's saying, you're not telling all your testimony. There's so many stories you have and you're not tapping into it off of not wanting people to know your business. But at the same time, the things that you went through, some people haven't even gotten through. Some people don't even have that kind of strength. He said, and I'm equipping you to do this. So know that I'm walking with you while you're doing it. Okay. I don't tell you all this to tell on other people or to... Um, just had something to say. I don't tell you this to get any views. I don't share all of this for money or nothing because I get no money from doing this. Okay. So, um, you know, uh, I was telling the Lord honestly that I'm afraid that, um, you know, and he said, what are you afraid of? Are you afraid of speaking up? And I said, yeah. And I know I tell you all to speak up, but this was one thing I've always been afraid of speaking up. I have not even spoken of this in nine years. My daughter is nine now. And um, so he used to ask me if speaking up, am I afraid that speaking up will release me? And I told him maybe so. And he said, then speak up. You're going to move mountains. Are you ready to move mountains? And I answered, yes. I do this for you because it helps me too. You know, that's why 
in most of my videos, I say, let me help you and together we can help one another. We all have been through things and we all can learn from one another. We all know pain, but many of us don't know healing. That, this is where the Lord told me to rest during the healing process in the word. I speak Psalms 23 and 91 over your life as right now. And I encourage you to go read it. Okay. God hears you and he answered you in his timing. We have to continue to hope, to have faith, and to wait on the Lord. It's not easier and it's uh, easier said than done. I'm in this stage. It's not easy. But I'm learning to trust the Lord because when I trust in the Lord, I'm telling you, for a whole week, I had to rest. I wasn't getting any downloads from the Lord. The Lord wasn't telling me anything, so I wasn't posting anything. He wasn't speaking to me for a reason, but that's another video. And today the Lord said, I'm going to flood you with a ton of things and you better be ready. And I'm ready because I've been getting downloads all day. Things just keep coming to me to share with you to help you to heal. I want you to heal when I need you to heal. You want me to tell you why? Because you are God's property. That's why you need to heal. You need to heal so you can get on the path to righteousness. You need to heal so that you can be free. So you can be free of bondage. So peace and blessings, beautiful souls. I'm going to end this video on that note. And I pray that this was helpful to you. Let me help you. And together we can help one another. Peace and blessings.